Welcome to the MIST Track tutorial. This video is designed to help you quickly get familiar with MIST Track and make the most of its features for blockchain tracing and transaction analysis. Let's dive in. First, go to the official MIST Track website and click on Dashboard at the top right of the page. You can log in using your email or a Web3 wallet. For this tutorial, we'll log in with a Google account. Once logged in, you'll take in to the main dashboard. Right in the center of the page is our core feature, Address Analysis. Here, you'll see addresses related to trending cases. Simply click on one to start exploring. On the left side of the screen, you'll find quick access to functions like Favorites and Investigations, which are also displayed on the dashboard for a clear overview of all essential information. To begin tracing an address, just paste the address you want to investigate into the input field and select its blockchain. MistTrack currently supports 17 public chains and hundreds of different tokens. Then, hit search. The first section is address overview. We can see that this is a regular address. If it is a contract address, it would be labeled as such. This address exists on multiple chains. Click the star icon to add a note and bookmark the address. It'll appear in your favorites list next time you log in. On the right, you'll find links to Portfolio and Explorer for a deeper dive into the address's assets or blockchain data. Here are the tags we've assigned to help quickly identify the type of address. This one belongs to the founder of Ethereum. Next up is our AML Risk Score feature, a missed track highlight. The system calculates the score based on the address's associated entity transaction history and SlowMist's malicious wallet database. If this address has interacted with known risky addresses, it will be flagged. Using our verified database, we identify and label addresses involved in ransomware, theft, phishing scams, and more. This address has a risk score of 3, which is considered low risk. If an address reaches medium risk or higher, you should think twice before interacting with it. You can also download the full risk report to view offline. On the right, you'll find an overview of this address's financial activity including its total inflows and outflows number of transactions and timestamps. You can also switch views to check its asset value. Scroll down to Counterparty Analysis, where you can see the platforms this address has interacted with. Use the colored blocks before each name to toggle their visibility in the donut chart for clearer insights. In Transaction Actions Analysis, Two pie charts show how this address interacts during income and outgoing transactions, such as with exchanges, swaps, or ENS services. Address Profile Analysis provides a deeper look into the platforms the address uses. It includes an analysis of gas fee source and transaction times, helping to create a behavioral profile. This can help infer the user's location and active hours. Click to expand details like used exchanges, define protocols, wallet types, and associated timeframes. The final section is the transaction graph. This visualizes all inflows, outflows, and counterparties. Click Sankey to group transactions by entity label. If you want to dig deeper, Click here to create a new investigation by naming it and adding notes. Use the sidebar filters to narrow down by time, transaction amount, inflow or outflow, or tag categories. Click here to set up monitoring. Just leave, leave your email, email and, and we'll, we'll notify, notify you when, when this address, address makes any new transactions. transactions. 
Click the column headers to sort by number of transactions or ETH amount. If you already know there's a connection between this address and another, you can quickly look it up here. To visualize better, select tag address. The graph will only show those with tags. For example, one address is a cross-chain bridge named across. Right-click it to perform a cross-chain analysis. And you'll see that 30 to ETH was bridged to an address ending in 0 for 5 on the base chain. Finally, we offer features for developers. Our Robin API allows integration into your apps. Paid users can generate up to three keys, each allowing up to 10,000 daily calls. The Open API returns data like address tags, overviews, risk scores, detailed risk info, transaction investigations, behavioral analysis, footprint insights, and counterparty analysis. The AML screening feature enables AML capabilities without coding. It supports both contract and EOA address monitoring. Mistrack performs real-time know your transaction analysis and know your address checks on each monitored transaction. If a risky transaction is detected, you'll receive a warning email. The risk analytics shows real-time KYT data and open API call history, giving you a full view of financial risks across your monitored addresses. Every transaction is tracked and scored by risk level. That's the end of this tutorial. We hope this helps you better understand and use Mistrack. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Thanks for watching.